Imagine this. You wake up tomorrow and the US bans India from using Google, Facebook, Instagram or ChatGPT. No communication, no cloud, no data. That's not fiction. That's a nightmare India could face. Because every nerve of our digital economy runs through American hands. From the chips and missiles to the servers behind our banks, India's technological heartbeat is wired to Washington. One trade sanction, one policy shift, one flick of a switch. And the fifth largest economy could digitally collapse. This isn't paranoia, it's history repeating itself. A reminder from history, when the US cut off India. During the 1999 Kargil War, India requested precise GPS data from the US to locate infiltrating Pakistani troops. Washington refused. That single moment of technological denial exposed India's dependence and pushed us to create our own navigation system, NAVIX, navigation with Indian constellation. Navisi's success stands today as proof that when denied access, India can build. But it shouldn't take another crisis to wake us up. Because right now, the risk is bigger. The dependency isn't just on data. It's on AI platforms, chip design, cloud servers, and digital infrastructure that India doesn't own. We're not running the system. We're just plugged into someone else's grid. Meanwhile, China saw the trap coming decades ago. It built its own OS, its own chips, its own firewalls and turned dependency into dominance. India, meanwhile, still celebrates importing what others invent. Experts now call for a national mission for tech resilience, a decade-long push for digital sovereignty. Because the next global conflict won't start with missiles. It'll start with the server shutdown. And a country asking, who really controls our switch? The brutal truth? In the next global standoff, the first attack won't come with bombs. It'll come with a login error.